Well, I'll tell you what, John has been absolutely slamming these smallies with the tubes. What I've done is I've went further down river now where it's a little bit, uh, it's slower water, but there's a lot more gravel, it's shallower. And so what I'm doing is I'm just throwing a rattle bait. Actually, uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm throwing a, uh, an original rattle trap by Bill Lewis. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying, there's one right there. I'm just trying to get them out. Oh, here's a nice fish just trying to get it out there and just keep it above those rocks check this out well I'll tell you what it's just incredible that fast water you got that fast water where that tube is mimicking mimicking the crawdads and then when you get into the shallow stuff you just throw these rattle baits and when I, like I said I'm using a Bill Lewis rattle trap but I'm kind of going with uh, something with a little red in to mimic, uh, mimic these crawdads. Here he comes. You know, I'll tell you what, these, fight, these fish just fight in this current. Oh, what do I got here? Ho oh, ho! What the heck? It's a little bonus. It's a little musky. Little musky. Sure as can be. Woo! A little musky. Come on. Come on, buddy. Woohoo! Settle down. Take a look at that. What the heck? Let's get you back in. There you go, pal. Not quite what we're looking for. cow what a small mouth when we talk about oh I just lost him that was a big smallie that was a big smallie when you're bringing them in and this this currents taking your your bait down river once it gets past you and you're starting to retrieve it back up just kind of follow the shoreline along but keep your rod up a little bit so it doesn't get hooked up on these rocks a lot of times these smallies will come right up next to shore and grab it, just like that last one did. I'm just going to bring them right along the shoreline here. There's one right there. See how that was? Brought it right along the shoreline. This fish was sitting right on the rocks. This was a pike now. Well, we're getting quite a mixed bag here. Get a little mixed bag of everything. Settle down, fella. little pike, not too bad. We're after the smallmouth though, let's get a smallie. We've got a muskie, we've got a muskie, and we've got a, a pike so far. Come on, Mr. Smallie. There he is, there we go. Just keep that bait, just a nice steady retrieve. Nice steady retrieve. Boy, I tell you, they get in this current and it's literally impossible to move these fish. Let's go. And I'll tell you what, you can get walleyes this way, you get a little bit of everything. There's a little smallie, not too bad.
Just a little danker. Get him back in. There he is, right along the shore. So all you got to do, just bring that right along. When you're bringing it back, just bring it right along the shore. And I'll tell you, these fish will come up and just hold right up along that, the rock line. Man, I'll tell you what, these fish fight. I don't even know if this is a, this is a smallmouth or what this is. We've caught a small muskie, a small pike, a small uh, bass. Now we've got this guy. Oh, it's a big, uh, big smallmouth. Beautiful smallmouth. I'll tell you what, it's, it's really hard to beat these rattle baits. Real hard to beat these rattle baits in the shallow, faster moving water where you really can't get a jig in there. You can't get that tube in there. Jeez, pound for pound, these fish are just incredible. Look at this fish. Wow, what a tub. Nice smallmouth. They get in this fast water and they just, nice smallie. Not a bad smallie. Let's get him back in and uh, let's get back up and uh, see what John's doing with those two.